Now for the first part of this question, we're given that f of x equals x squared plus 4kx plus all of 3 plus 11k and asked to express it in this form, f of x equals all of x plus p squared plus q. Where p and q are going to be functions of k that we need to work out. And whenever you get anything like this in this format here, this is called completing the square. And if you're unsure of completing the square, just go on my website, look under tutorial index for completing the square, and you should find some tutorials and examples on that. Okay, well, knowing that it's completing the square, what we have to do is we'll just write underneath here that this is equal to, and we write a bracket like this with a squared outside. We put just x at the front here and we always halve the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is the value in front of x which in this example is plus 4k. So if you halve plus 4k you're going to get plus 2k. Now if you were to expand x plus 2k all squared what would you get? Well we should know this um, straight off but what I'll do is we'll just write down x plus 2k multiplied by another x plus 2k. What do we get? Well this is identical to x times x which is x squared, x times 2k which is 2kx, then we've got another 2k times x, another 2kx, and then we've got the last term 2k times 2k which is plus 4k squared. Just squeeze it in there. And if we simplify this, we end up with x squared plus twice that product of 2kx, so that's plus 4kx, and then plus the 4k squared. So you can see, hopefully, that what we've got here is the first two terms, x squared plus 4kx, but unfortunately we've collected an additional 4k squared. So we need to subtract that, okay, from here. So if we subtract minus 4k squared, this comes to just simply x squared plus 4kx, these first two terms. Then we've got this term on the end. Well, it's plus 1 times 3 plus 11k, so I don't really need the brackets, so we just put plus 3 plus 11k, it's the same thing. Now, you can see I'm gradually getting towards this particular format. I've got my x plus p term all squared, it's x plus 2k all squared. Then for this one I've got to have plus q, so being a plus sign I'm going to put a plus there and set up some brackets, okay, to create one term, the q. And I could write minus 4k squared plus 3 plus 11k, but I don't like the look of that. I'm going to start with the 3 and do it in ascending powers. 3 plus 11k minus 4k squared. So you can see that this is identical to saying x plus p all squared plus q, where we've got p is equal to the 2k and you can see that Q is equal to the 3 plus 11k minus 4k squared. All right, well that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.